Okay. 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 You. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm from MiniWorks. Sam here. Hi, I'm Chris um, from MiniWorks. Um, uh, thank you for watching uh, TV Makilau. Um, we've got a great response from the Mini Group. So um, now uh, we have a question from uh, uh, a guy named uh, Hafiz Mazlan asking about uh, carburetors. So we're going to generally talk about uh, HIF44. So. Um, okay, Hafiz's uh, 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 question was how to set up a Weber and a HIF44. So now we don't have a Weber. Uh, what we have here is a, um, a set of um, HIF44 carburetor. Um, so Sam here will explain a bit of how the operational and how to set it up. So Sam? Okay. So like the normal HIF44, these are the adjustment for your CO, okay. rich and lean. lean. So Sam, okay. if you want it richer, which direction does one go? Ah, I'm always confused with that. Okay, so you should so, just experiment, is it? Normally I've got a spare. I will open it, then I will just screw in and out. Okay. So, whenever I screw it in and out, I will have a look at the jet settings here. Okay, let me just zoom in on that. One sec, one sec, right? Okay. Uh, hang on a sec, one sec. Woo! Sorry. Okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, this getting used to the camera. My, okay, good. We're getting a good thing here. Special, hang on, special. one sec, one sec. Where is it? This is my special oh, okay, tool. Okay, hold on. Slow down with your hands, okay? okay. Your special tool. <laughs> one, my... one of your two special yeah. tools. <laughs> <laughs> because you got a problem reaching that area in the car. One's for the car, one's for half of the owners. Carry on. Or you can even use a test pen. <laughs> okay. So normally, right. I will screw it to tighten it. Clockwise. Tightening is what? Clockwise. Clockwise, yeah. Okay. You see, clockwise, I have to open it better. Clockwise, don't worry. it goes Just, up. It goes it up, goes okay. up means the jet goes down. Yeah. Okay. Then it is... They will make it richer. Then make, they will make it richer. So screwing it in makes yeah. it richer. You see, you tightening, you tightening it is what clockwise. Yeah. Okay. Clockwise makes it richer. Okay. Anti-clockwise. Leaner. Makes it leaner. Okay. Okay, that's great. Okay. Just a question here, Sam. Ask me that screwdriver there. This one. Yeah. Okay. Just one question, Sam. Um, when you say when, when it's too rich or too lean, how are you sort of telling? Are you listening to the exhaust yeah, note no, or no, how you, you, you get the different what they call RPM? So you're listening to the engine speed. Engine smoothness. Okay, okay. So you're you're try aiming for it to get as smooth as to possible. Get the best smoother idling speed. Okay. And possibly go back to the exhaust pipe and give it some smell. Huh. Okay. You can tell. Petrol smell, you know okay. what I mean? Okay. <laughs> you okay. go back to the exhaust and you do some smell at the exhaust. So you get high on minis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This bad. This bloody screwdriver. So I'm going to show you the, okay. what do you call that thing? Needle. Okay. <laughs> Who stole my needle? <laughs> <laughs> There's no needle. <laughs> okay. No, no, I will reach it there. Okay, so hang on a sec. Okay. No, I will leave it there. Yeah, okay. I won't touch the tripod. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is it over <laughs> Maybe that's why the carburetor was scrapped. You check. Pull up the dashboard first. Open it. 
Oh, I just grab one needle that side lah. Yeah. No, no, no. It's complete. <laughs> you can hear. Better to drive a lift. The driver can open lah. Was there a needle in this one? Yeah. yeah. So guys, you know there are different needle types, right? Yeah. How do you know that the right ones in the car or, or minis tend to be a bit intolerant and most needles are okay? I would recommend you use the standard, what do you call it? BFY. BFY. Yeah. So how much would a needle tend to cost, Sam? I really got no idea. Okay. You look at the needles, it is all... Okay, why not? Can you zoom it up? I'll try, one sec. You one see, sec, it's, one it's sec. It's got the letterings here. Okay. Can you see the letterings? Um, I can't, but um, we have so the you, idea you, where you to look. You can check, check out your letterings here, which I'm not quite familiar with this thing. Okay. But normally, we use BFY. BFY. Okay. For the 1.3. Okay. Well, Chris, please. Let me see. Um, Can you see what the. Um, this one it says uh, BFY. Yeah. Ah. So this is the correct needle okay. um, for the HIF uh, in a 1.3 setup. Are most of the minis you do 1.3s? Um, HIF 44 basically uh, it's got a bigger. This is where you calculate the diameter of the hole. So, okay. so when you get this, uh, this is HIA 44, so it's right. got more airflow okay. for the 1.3. Okay. So usually for a bit uh, a, a better performance, you would use a HIA 44. Okay. Uh, if it doesn't have a HIA 44, <laughs> what would it normally have there? They use on the HS2. HS2, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. I Bring the HS2 yeah, tomorrow. Right? Okay. Start talking, huh? Yeah. So, so okay. Anyway, 
um, this is how um, when you open it up okay right? so this is uh, what they call a dashboard okay. so it sits in here um, so it sits in there so what happened is that um, when when this thing is uh, you, you close it up over here and then this part um, is what they call the dashboard okay. right so this is the damper that normally you fill up with oil um, there's, there's no system of how to explain this oh, that's okay <coughs> so um, what oil do you put in the in the dashboard um, well it depends on uh, what kind of dampening effect you want on okay. the dashboard. Okay. Sometimes you use a lighter oil, sometimes you use a thicker oil. Okay. So uh, a lighter oil will basically drag more fuel into the engine um, and a lighter oil will make the dashboard response faster. Right. So uh, you will adjust it as, as you tune it on the car. Okay. So if I wanted a light oil, or I wanted little damping, I want it to respond quickly, yeah. what light oil do you use? Um, um, usually I'll put a bit of um, ATF fluid, ATF. Uh, mixed with, a, with an engine oil. Okay. So that basically, um, they, they do sell a proper uh, dashboard oil. Here? For this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, they don't have it here. Okay. Right. So that's why we do you our own uh, mixing. Right. right. And if you wanted a heavier oil, what do you do then? Um, we'll mix a bit with an EP90, which is a gearbox oil. Okay. And sometimes one of this engine treatment, which is really thick. Right. Right. Uh, mix with a bit of engine oil, so we can really adjust um, the desired okay. dampening. Okay. So do you find sometimes that this uh, dash part gets stuck? Or it's not a problem on these minis. Um, yeah, you you do get uh, the dashboard getting stuck inside the the housing. Right. Um, but that's a rare case. Okay. Usually, yeah. Can you sort of polish the shaft if that happens, or you have to replace it? Um, depends on how bad the damage is. Right. Um, usually you can just polish it up and okay. then use it back. Okay. No, normally, normally you polish the areas in here, in there. Okay. You just put it. Piston in and you right. can okay. fill it yourself in. Should right. be very smooth. Okay. With the spring loaded thing. Right. It should be very smooth. Okay. Are there different types of springs or is it just one standard spring? All trial and error. Trial and error. Um, what I usually do is with the springs, right. if I need it to be to have a bit more tension, right. I'll stretch it out like okay. that. Hang on a sec. And okay. then Basically, you get right. a, a more a bit more tension on it. Okay. So every time after I remove a, a spring from the top, right. I'll always stretch it a bit. Okay. So that you know you get the, the effect. Back. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's one little problem with the HI44 is that this is the cover at the bottom of it um, over here. Okay. Right. Um, because of the exhaust heat that comes uh, uh, to this. Okay. Uh, this cover usually get warped. Okay. Right? So you can you can actually put it on a flat piece of glass, right. um, with a with a sandpaper, right. and then try and um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, flatten. Flatten it a bit. Yeah. Okay. So. So where is the idle speed uh, uh, adjustment for this carburetor? Mm, idle speed is on top. Um, there. This is where the throttle is. Uh, there. And the idle speed is normally on top here, this part. Okay, let me right. just zoom in there a bit. Okay. And it's at the corner. Okay. Yeah. There, and it's uh, usually it's on top. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so, um, coming back to the gentleman's question about setting it up. Can you give any advice on how he should perform these adjustments? Um, okay. Um, um, firstly, you 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 have to get the car running. Uh, once the car is running, let it idle and until you get the um, 
right operating temperature and then um, you set it up to about 1000 rpm with the idle screw on top and then what you do is um, with this little um, screw adjustment here uh, to make it reach richer or leaner so uh, what what you do is um, you you try and turn it in which is clockwise to make it richer until the idle starts to slowly drop right and then um, once it's done that, what you do is you move it out. Again, you make it lean, and the idle will move up to a higher point. And then as you go out, the idle will start to drop again. So you find a center, okay. right? In between that, okay. that two points, right. you try and turn it back in probably half a turn, right. so that um, uh, the idle becomes at the highest point that it can get okay. um, with that setting. So okay. that basically is a ah. very general way of um, adjusting an uh, HIA 44. Okay. Um, whilst we see this carburetor here, well, Chris, mm -hmm. this air filter here, how do you guys tend to service them or clean them or change them? What do you do with the air filters? Air filter. Air filter? Mm -hmm. Why? This is you not a standard air filter. Oh, it's not? Yeah, no. Um, do you, what does a standard air filter look like? Do you have one? Um, yeah. I don't think I have any. Um, I think it's over there. Don't think we have any. Don't seem see anybody using the standard as you them. Okay. So what air filters are people using? Normally we use this pancake type of okay. air filter. Okay. Well, you can get it in Sing Tombi. We locally we get it from Sing Tombi. Okay. Or KNN also comes up with these filters, but this is not KNN. Do you clean them though? We normally use compressor. Air, compressor, compressor air. Okay. So, um, how about the the float for the carburetor? Do they give problems? The needle and float arrangement. Do you mm. have any problems there? So far, not. They don't give that much uh, trouble really? yeah, on oh, rare okay. cases. Okay. Um, sometimes when you leave the car for, for quite some time, right. um, you don't start it. Uh, uh, it does get stuck sometimes. Okay. Yeah. So Sam, that tool you're using, where, where can a mini owner find one of those tools if they wanted to get their own? Are they <laughs> Make your own. Make your own? Yeah. yeah? Just a nut and a... Small piece of that screwdriver thing, you can get it from Pasamalam. Yeah? Then okay. you have a look at it. Ah, okay. Okay, I'll take a picture of it. <coughs> that, that, that tool was made so that it's, it's easy for you to tune it in the car. Because right. um, the, the space that there is between the firewall and the right. carburetor is right. very little. Ah, okay. That makes sense. On the next bed. It's still a test pen. A test pen? Yeah. What do you use you a test, test pen test for? Pen. I don't know why the British make it so complicated. Just like a normal screw thread, but normal screwdrivers problem to remove or right. so I still prefer the test pen. Oh. You mean test pen, get a shorter test pen. Okay. So a question for you guys, right? Um, you've spoken about the, the method of adjusting the idle speed uh, yeah. mixture or the idle mixture yeah. and uh, the idle speed. For most minis that you do, do you have any other problems? Are they quite easy to idle to get to idle nicely, or there are some that are real, just real bastards and real pain? Um, well, uh, there are some minis uh, that is very difficult to tune, but that is probably not just because of the carburetor right. setting. There's other things that's not right uh, on the engine okay. that makes it difficult to tune. What would some of those things be? Um, uh, Sometimes the valve itself um, doesn't have the proper seating, the valve guide is out. Okay. So all those um, okay. basically interrelated with the 
okay. setting of the carburetor. Okay. Um, thank you guys. Uh, there was a bit of explanation about the HI44. Um, keep the question coming. Uh, you can email us at um, soalan at tvmarkey.com. Uh, yeah, just so just keep the question coming. Anything to say? Well, we'll try to answer your questions. Thank you, guys. Okay.